All right, ladies and gentlemen, just moments away from this parade beginning. Thank you for being here, and a very happy holidays to all of you. <laughs> I heard a few cheers in the crowd. We are so glad that all of you are here. I know that this has become a family tradition for so many of you. If, you, if you're a first timer, we have about 86 floats that we're gonna see tonight. You have to have at least a minimum of 500 lights on your float. And if you look down the list of who's gonna be here tonight, it is wonderful, great representation of Central Texas organizations. And I was out earlier scouting some of the floats, of course, couldn't see them with the lights on yet, but just seeing a lot of the work, Lindsay, and a lot of the effort that people put into these floats, uh, these have been planned for a long, long time. So if you see something you like, cheer it up, let them know it, let them feel it, because they put a lot of work into this and uh, all to bring us joy tonight and to really kick off the Christmas parade season here uh, in downtown Temple. You are hearing the Temple Police here getting us started. This will be the lead car driven by Deputy Chief Jeff Clark, and we are just about to get underway. Remember, Pete Fredberg is our Grand Marshal tonight. He just lit the Christmas tree moments ago, if you're just joining us, and that'll stay lit all the way through Christmas. It looks beautiful over there. And it's the giant party with music going on over there, and uh, I'll call it library effect snow, or, or city hall effect snow instead of lake effect <laughs> snow. But uh, it's a great, great atmosphere, but people are starting to find their seats, and they're heading over to enjoy the parade as it gets closer and closer to getting underway. So once again, just remember, do not approach the floats, please, and please stay on the sidewalk, no crossing the street as well. Of course, we will kick things off tonight with the colors and the police department protecting everything. You're going to see some classic cars tonight here as well. That should be a real enjoyable thing for you car aficionados. And of course, the lights on these police cars, your tax dollars hard at work. They look great. It's the new way. As long as they're not in your rear view mirror, I'm telling you, they look great, Lindsay. <laughs> you came for the parade, but the comedy is free, folks. <laughs> Laurel and Hardly will be here all week, yeah. <laughs> Good to see the stage almost full on both sides here of the stage downtown. Uh, thanks to everybody for their hard work setting this up. In just a matter of a few minutes between 5 o'clock and 6.30, uh, this stage was erected. The police have been hard at work securing traffic and getting the parade route secured. Be sure to check out anybody selling any concessions. That cotton candy's going around. Don't let it ruin your dinner, though, kids. <laughs> yeah, the City of Temple Parks and Rec Department has been working hard as well, Chris, to make sure that this is an enjoyable experience for everyone. My four kiddos are out here. They look like they're having fun. They're not getting into too much trouble just yet. The Lippman Brood is here? Oh, yeah. The Fab oh, Four wow. is in full effect. The Fab Four. I love it. And she calls them the Fab Four because there's not five. <laughs> Thankful. Once again, the police lead car is driven by Deputy Chief Jeff Clark. Yes, respecting that red light. Don't know how far you can hear us, but hopefully all the way down to the corner near the Jack in the Box, you are able to hear us as well as back up to the parade route. You can see the colors making their way right in front of the stage. And Lindsay, again, this is the first Cavalry Division Honor Guard carrying the colors in for tonight's parade. You know, Chris, they have to learn the first team history as part of that selection process. It's a very honorable post when you get selected to the Honor Guard, and they've gone everywhere from Dallas Cowboys Stadium events up to the National Mall in Washington, D.C. for different memorial events. They are the face of the Army, Fort Hood, and the first team throughout Texas and the nation. Well, you all look great tonight. Thank you, Deputy Chief Jeff Clark, leading them. And this parade is officially underway. All right, now you were talking about those classic cars. Here comes a few of them. Tell us a little bit about the Grand Marshal. 
that is in his side, that 1929 Model A. Well, the Grand Marshal and his wife are classics as well. We just won't tell you what year they came around. <laughs> Coach Fred, don't let him say that about you. We are delighted to have Pete Fredenberg and his wife Karen riding in this beautiful 1929 Model A driven by Darren Juke. We're excited to announce the Christmas Parade Grand Marshal is Coach Fredenberg, former UMHB head football coach. When they restarted the program, he's the only one they've had until this year. He began it in 1998 and held a record of 231 and 39, that's all, in 24 seasons. He is a 10-time ASC Coach of the Year and earned AFCA Regional Coach of the Year, honors 10 times in his career as well. In 2018, he was inducted into the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. Thank you, Coach Pete and wife Karen. Coming in right behind him is Mayor Tim Davis, who was elected to his first term back in May of 2018. He served previously on the Temple City Council District 1 since May of 2013, and he's been a resident here since 1995 and has lived in District 1 since 97. And riding with Mayor Davis is his wife, Jennifer. He's the owner and manager of Texas Benefit Alliance, a Temple-based employee benefits insurance agency. They've been married over 35 years, and that is a... I don't know, what kind of car is that? Chris? Yeah, congratulations, you kids. Yeah, yeah, that's the old-fashioned one. And this is Mayor Pro Tem Morales. Judy Morales is driving in a 1970 Corvette owned by Bill Phillips. Councilman Morales and her husband, Michael G. Steinheimer, have five children and numerous grandchildren. She's an active member of Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic Church in Temple. Thank you for being here in this parade. All right, Council Member Walker gives us a big wave. Jessica Walker, along with her two sons, riding in a Jeep owned by John Hicks. Jessica was elected as Council Member for District 1 in May of 2018, and she is a third generation Temple resident, native, and graduated from Temple High School back in 1984. Went to UT and became a flight attendant in 99. Came back home. How exciting. That is terrific. Thanks for being here. Welcome up next, Bryn Myers with her children riding in a Corvette driven by Dan Scott. Bryn Myers was appointed by the city council to the city manager position in January of 2018. She serves as the chief executive officer of the city and manages the annual budget and staff of over 900 full and part-time employees. Thank you for being here, Bryn. We appreciate it. Just ahead of her is Council Member Long, along with special guest Dr. Bobby Ott and his wife Nicole. They were riding in a 1969 Pontiac driven by John Palarma. Dr. Ott, the leader of the Temple ISD School District, recently honored as the Temple, the Texas rather, Superintendent of the Year, is now the Lone Star State's nominee for 2023 national superintendent of the year glad to have them out here you know he believes so much in that blue front white back magic i actually saw him in a blue santa hat i didn't know they made those what? Really. but he found one in honor of the temple high Tempcats. you better believe it okay you're gonna love this next vehicle is fire chief mitchell randall's in the 1939 diamond t fire truck Chief Randalls has been with the Temple Fire Department since August of 2014. He has over 30 years in the fire and emergency medical safety services, holding various positions prior to serving as chief, including assistant chief, fire marshal, fire captain, and driver engineer, firefighter, paramedic, and emergency medical services coordinator. And what a beautiful vehicle. And he's got Smokey on board as well. Did you see Smokey? Smokey's on board. Good boy, Smokey. Good boy. <laughs> All right, up next is Police Chief Sean Reynolds, who began his employment with the Temple PD on June 1st of 2020. He began his law enforcement career back in 1994. He's progressed through the ranks by serving as patrol officer, sergeant, lieutenant, captain, a major, and a deputy chief. Chief Reynolds served several years in patrol, investigations, and personnel training divisions. Thanks for being here, Chief.
Hey everybody, let's welcome in Representative Hugh Schein, a retired United States Army Colonel, financial advisor, and politician. He's a Republican member of the Texas House of Representatives, representing the 55th District. He previously served two terms in the Texas House of Representatives from 1986 to 1990. He was proud to serve the great people of District 55, and we're delighted to have him here in tonight's parade. Another public servant is Bell County Judge David Blackburn, the 41st County Judge of Bell County. David and his wife Ann are riding in a Ford Mustang provided by Johnson Brothers. Judge Blackburn assumed office in 2021. Prior to becoming County Judge, Mr. Blackburn was served as the President and CEO of the Temple Economic Development Corporation, is a former city manager for the cities of Temple and Glee, and has over 30 years in local government. Thank you for being here, Judge. Looking great. And look at this. It's Rod Henry and wife Benita riding in the Porsche owned by Bob Ritchie. Rod took the role of president of the Temple <laughs> Chamber of Commerce in the summer of 2013. I've never seen a hat like that. I'm telling you, he's got it all. He's been a servant working with the local Chamber of Commerce in four different states since 1977. Thank you for being here, Rod. Look at what's coming down the street wow, now. Wow, you cannot miss it, Chris. This year's TV BC Kids Float is a groovy dance party at the North Pole. Now they like to have fun. You can notice the dance floor and all the elves having a great time celebrating the season. You can come join them at Taylor Valley's Baptist Church. That's at 2497 West FM 93, Sundays at 9.30 a.m. or 11 a.m. for worship. They believe in kids and they love their TV BC families. You can also celebrate Christmas Eve with them, 3.30 p.m. or a 5 p.m. candlelight service. Was that groovy enough for you there? <laughs> How about the 2022 SPJST State Queen is Brooke Backett and the State Duchess is Vanessa Rita. They're both from El Campo, Texas. The SPJST State Duke is Jay Karuska of Snook, Texas, and they are serving as the official SPJST Youth Ambassadors for the 2022-2023 year. Thank you for making the trip over and joining us tonight, everyone. Coming through the lineup now is Temple Breakfast Lions Club, Feed My Sheep Free Pediatric Clinic to kids who are uninsured. That is their signature project for the Temple Breakfast Lions Club Together, they say, we can serve. I'm getting in the groove, Chris. Are you getting in the groove? I'm telling you, it's a groovy Christmas parade. Well, that's more from the, a the SPJST float looking great. Now they have more than 10,000 energy efficient LED lights with the theme Peace, Love, and Merry Christmas. And they are celebrating the 125th anniversary of their organization in 2022. The home office is located in downtown Temple. Riding the float are members of the SPJST lodges, including Lodge 47 and Seaton. And here's the actual lion from the lion's breakfast. <laughs> Y'all are looking good out there. Here comes the Primrose School of Temple. They want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas from the Prim Primrose School. They're a private preschool with accredited curriculum for infants through pre-kindergarten. Oh, look at the little ones in the bus. Yeah. The wheels on the bus go round and round. All right, you Primrosers, looking good. <laughs> We have a very musical float coming up next. These are so out of order. There's no AB-16. Yeah, if you got out of order, I'm not sure. Santa ride a Harley sometimes? 
How much reindeer power is that? Remember why Rudolph went to the front of the line there with all the red lights and the red nose. I think those motorcycles qualify. That was the ULB Bikers Club. Nice to have them here. Okay, this is Amy's Attic Self Storage with the largest, cleanest storage facilities in the county offering the size you need along with amazing customer service and their employees are absolutely terrific. All right, you ready to get to work here, Lindsay? Ready? Okay. You know, I'm a former cheerleader. Once a cheerleader, always a cheerleader. That's right. <laughs> That's Powerhouse Cheer and Fitness. They are home of the 2022 NCA All-Star World and Summit Champions. I love to hear them scream. Powerhouse is a competitive cheer gym that offers rec classes, after school programs, birthday parties, and open gym as well. That way, when it's the holiday break, you can get your kids to run off some of that energy. Absolutely. These are some of the most talented cheers and the best gym in Central Texas. They offer rec classes, after school programs, birthday parties, open gyms, and beyond talent-wise. They are really, really good if you're interested. And quite the following. Great to see you all out here tonight. Walking in the parade with the lights, it's fantastic. I think it's going to be hard for the judges tonight. We've seen a lot of really excellent floats. Well, we talked to all the judges earlier, and they're keeping it on the up and up. So you've got to impress this tough crew. <laughs> they don't crack easy, and they don't take bribes. <laughs> Not even Santa's cookies. That's right. Santa is watching this. And like a good neighbor, Schaefer and Wagner State Farm, your local agent in Temple, is here for auto, home, life, and commercial. Call for a free quote today. Thanks for being here, and I love the animals on the roof. <laughs> Have they got Jake locked up in the back? Where's Jake? <laughs> Jake was unable to attend okay, tonight. Very good. <laughs> Coming down the roadway here is Trinity Lutheran Church. They want to remind everybody that Jesus is the reason for the season of Christmas, and they'd like you to join them to celebrate. Great to see Trinity Lutheran Church and all the pretty lights that they've trimmed out on their vehicle. That is beautiful. Mathnasium is in the house. Y'all are looking good. All right, Lindsay, that's, that float is too smart for us. <laughs> Who doesn't remember playing with the toys? that they've got displayed there growing up. Tinker Toys, Mr. Potato Head. Those are both staples in our house. Yep. And were you able, able, able to solve the Rubik's Cube? No, no. <laughs> you know, I even tried taking the stickers off. It didn't work. You're still trying. <laughs> well, it appears there's a house coming down the street. This is Bell County 911. It's the consolidated 911 center that answers and dispatches every 911 call for police, fire, and EMS for all areas of Bell County. And they've gone all out this year with their float looking great. 911, always there if you need them. You just hope you don't have to. Special thank you for all that they do. Here comes the 2022 Cinderella Scholarship Program. Organizer celebrating 76 years as the largest provider of scholarships for girls. Your 2022 Texas Cinderella overall tiny tot is Grayson Kinsey of Temple. Next up is Trail Life USA. It's a Christ-centered outdoor character development adventure program open to boys and young men ages 5 through the age of 18. Our mission is simple and clear to guide generations of courageous young men to honor God, lead with integrity, serve others, and experience outdoor adventure. Thanks for being here tonight, everybody. 
and their counterparts. American Heritage Girls is a Christ-centered character development program for girls ages 5 to 18. AHG is dedicated to the mission of building women of integrity through service to God, family, community, and country. With emphasis on Christian values and family involvement, girls participate in badge programs, service projects, leadership opportunities, and outdoor experiences. Great to see y'all. Yes, tonight qualifies. So glad you all are here. It's the Christmas parade badge. That's, that should be that's a, that exactly should be a right. thing. Outdoor activity? Check. <laughs> We'd like to say a big hello as well to anybody who's on the feed tonight watching us on KCENTV.com. Thank you for being here. And hopefully you'll join us for a recap tonight during our late news on KCN. And a reminder to download the app so that you can take us on your pocket and on your phone everywhere you go. And you'll also get news and weather updates as necessary at KCENTV.com. Just go to your app store and download the 6 News app. Lindsay, you enjoying the parade so far? I am having such a good time out here. It's the perfect weather and a great crowd, and these floats are really amazing. People worked really hard. Well, a lot of people are snuggled up tonight, friend and foe alike. Everybody's having a great time. <laughs> and it, That's right. It's good to see as I look across the crowd, grandmothers and grandchildren and sons and mothers and daughters, and everyone's having a great time. So thank you for being here, Central Texas. We want to say hello, a big Christmas hello to Priority Charter Schools. They are free, open enrollment schools with campuses in Temple, Cedar Park, Georgetown, and Coppers Cove. All four campuses have the flexibility to adapt to the educational needs of individual students, which makes them different from the one-size-fits-all traditional public schools, they say. Priority Charter Schools, your choice, your future, our priority. All right, Lindsay, are you ready to get extreme with extreme cheer and tumble? That's the only way to do it. They offer gymnastics, cheer, tumbling, and kids' ninja warrior classes. Ooh. You want to be a ninja warrior? Go here. They begin as young as 18 months. Come see us soon. You kids look like you're having a great time tonight. All right. Hey, everybody. Are any of you ninjas? Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. We still have a lot of floats left in this great parade tonight, Chris. And I can hear a marching band down there, too. Yeah, that's really going to get the crowd going. We're not even halfway through, so hopefully you're enjoying the parade and having a good time. As extreme cheer has come through. Next up, we've got Lamar Middle School. The cheerleaders and mascot, Bo the Bearcat, escorted by the Texas Anglers Bass Fishing Club. Uh, let's get those cheerleaders in a boat. <laughs> And backing them up is the Lamar Middle School Band. Under the direction of John Batson and Janessa Walker, they're performing A Joyous Christmas featuring Joy to the World and Beethoven's Ode to Joy. The band is an award-winning group comprised of 7th and 8th grade band students. Honors and awards have included UIL sweepstakes, jazz contest sweepstakes, superior ratings at other contests, and best-in-class awards. Please enjoy a joyous Christmas. sound great. Keep it going. All right. Next up is the First Methodist Church located at 102 North 2nd Street in downtown Temple. Right nearby. Join us Sundays at 8.30 and 11 for worship and at 9.30 for Sunday school and Wednesday nights at 5.30 for a meal and Bible study. 
We'll also have Christmas Eve services starting at 5 p.m. Make plans to bring your family and join us this holiday season. Good to see you all. Just want to point out, they've got a disco ball over there. They're ready to all get right. groovy. <laughs> disco, you say? That's extra groovy. Where's Sonny and Cher tonight? That's what I That's want to you. know. That's you and me. Yeah, I, got, oh, oh, I okay. got you, babe. Yeah. So does the Hawk. They'd like to wish everyone a happy holiday and, as always, to stay safe, helping folks get around in Central Texas. The Hawk. Next up, we are the Central Texas Christian Disaster Response Team. We provide help, hope, and healing to people who have been affected by disasters from coast to coast and around the world. And that's a pretty flow tonight, all lit up. Right behind them is members of the Corinth Baptist Church as well. They'd love for you to join them. They've got their youth ministry out and about doing positive things in the community. We love to see that. Merry Christmas, y'all. Garden Estates is very pleased to present their groovy van. In Temple, a place where seniors can lead an engaging and vibrant quality to their fullest. Come see us. We'd love to see you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. I guess that's the, here comes the senior <laughs> Yes, Lindsay, that van is looking extra groovy tonight for Garden Estates. <laughs> we look like they're having a lot of fun on the bus. Yes, and it's, it's listed in the, as its title, as its entry title, as the Groovy Wagon. I think some of the residents didn't realize they were going to be in a parade. They were yeah. like, oh, oh, okay, here we go. You're here and you're in a parade, everybody. Good to see you. <laughs> no, of course they do, and I love their tie-dye Santa hat. That's an extra touch yes. that we haven't seen tonight. Yes. A tie-dye Santa hat. Keep it groovy, y'all. <laughs> so we're starting to get loopy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like Holy Trinity Catholic High School has picked up a, a hitchhiker on the top of their van. It makes me want to drink a Coca-Cola. Why do you think <laughs> that is? Advertising works. <laughs> Whatever happened to those polar bear commercials? Well, either way, Holy Trinity Catholic High School has a strong academic curriculum which prepares students for college and all students have the opportunity to play sports. This is the 411 House, former home to Myrtle Captain, exists to empower youth in East Temple through relationships and opportunities. Welcome, 411 House, with their slogan, You Belong Here. Right behind them is Brookdale Western Hills Assisted Living. Well, we're right about at the halfway point here of our parade. DD2. Do you have a DD2? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, but it's just these guys. Okay, Baylor Scott and White. Yeah. And this is Baylor Scott and White Logistics Distribution Center, making sure that supplies reach all clinics and hospitals throughout the Central and North Texas area. It's so important. We wish you and your families a very Merry Christmas from the Wise Men. And look who I 
spotted in the crowd, Chris. It's the Grinch. Oh, the Grinch is here, huh? Oh, You're not stealing our holiday spirit, Grinch. Just move along. How dare you? <laughs> That's it, Max. Get him. So this is a continuation of Baylor Scott and White. Again, they cover a very large area, so they need a very large truck, and it's all lit up tonight looking fantastic. Honk if you like Christmas parade. Would you do us a favor, get a little closer to the Grinch and do that again? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you were a kid and you'd go like this? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> to get the trucker to honk? That's right. He understood the assignment. <laughs> you too, you too. Okay. Up next is the Cub Scout Pack 152. You can join them at St. Mary's Church in Temple. They're a family pack for kiddos in kindergarten through the fifth grade. They enjoy the great outdoors, STEM activities, and honoring our community. Y'all are looking good, guys. They got a tent on there. They got some kayaks. Oh, yeah. They're ready to go camping. It's actually good weather for that. It is. And a Christmas tree in the back. Okay, looks great. How about REMAX, Temple Belton, locally owned and operated, a real estate company that's backed by a globally recognized brand with over 200 years of combined experience. You can be confident that when you work with Remax and a Remax agent, you're in good hands. Merry Christmas from everyone at the Remax family of Temple Belton. And along the route, here comes First Baptist Church. They want you to join Pete the Cat and his choir as they sing Christmas carols to usher in the Christmas season. I see you, Pete the Cat. All right, Pete the Cat and some groovy Christmas carols. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Next up is the Ralph Wilson Youth Club float and bus. So there's two parts here to this. The elves are working in Santa's groovy workshop. Look at that. It's getting very close to Christmas, Chris. They better pick up the pace. That's right. And they're all wearing those sunglasses at night because they're so groovy and they're all fans of Corey Hart. <laughs> oh, that's also part of the Ralph yes. Wilson. Part two of the Ralph Wilson. This is the Moonlight Bus. Wonderfully decorated. Wow. With the kids inside. Looking good, kids. Merry Christmas. <laughs> sales, cutting edge contractors is your complete remodel solution and no job is too big or small from full scale remodel to your everyday fixes. They're ready to do it. And this is part two of Keeping It Realty at M4 Builders. Good to see you guys here tonight. Ah, there's an inflatable Grinch in the back. <laughs> the way we like them, a little less sassy. That's right. All right, Chris, it's time to go back to class because Scott Elementary is a part of the International Baccalaureate Program that aims to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people 
who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. They're looking pretty groovy. And they're blowing bubbles, Lindsay. Bubbles are always a crowd favorite. <laughs> Snowmen on the back in the form of boxes. Very clever, very creative. Bonus points for getting bubbles all the way to the stage. Well, we have a short little break before our next float. Chris, are you seeing some that really stand out to you? Yeah, some of these lights are really well. Uh, as I look at the judges, I don't want to peek onto their scorecards, but they're hard to work over here. And just a reminder that places one through 10 will be winning cash awards. Uh, through tonight, and everybody receives a plaque if you finished in the top ten. That can really help some of these nonprofit organizations you that bet. do so much good in our community. So we're rooting for everybody. A lot on the line tonight. Well, this is Gentiva, built on four brand principles: deliver with heart, guide with grace, adapt through service, and national reach and neighborly spirit. So glad to have Gentiva Hospice with us tonight. Another disco ball spotted. Very groovy. Well, you can't miss their float because there's definitely more than 500 lights on this one. Young's Daughter's Funeral Home, with the grooviest service in town, they say, appreciates the loyalty of Central Texas. Definitely takes some very special people to do the work that they do, and we appreciate it. That's Young's Daughters Bereavement Center. Oh! Well, I think I jumped ahead. That's game time, so tell us about them. We don't have them. Game time anytime. LLC is a mobile gaming theater. We'll bring the party to you anytime. Any place, it's game time. That's what they're doing right now, right? Party on the parade route. Okay, so this is the cheerleaders are back in action. Yep. I guess the bereavement people got, got, a, out of order. got a call. Yeah, maybe so. Gotcha. Number 56 was a no show. Oh, well, we just announced. <laughs> Oh, we, we found that out. They got their announcement anyway. <laughs> you can never have too much holiday here in your life, Chris. You just can't. It's what makes the season so special. Ready? Okay. <laughs> our Garcia Cheerleading Club would showcase our gifted Gator School spirit and support. Look at him go! All from Hector P. Garcia Elementary. I love your outfits, everybody. And there's the gator in the back. Yep. And a more mild-mannered Grinch. Grinch. Yes. A gentler, kinder Grinch. Maybe in habit. Well, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, 87. It's a 59? Yeah. Yes. It's a groovy Christmas with the Inhabit Home Health and Hospice team. They'll take care of all of your home health and hospice needs. What oh. zoinks is that you, Scoob? Right. Hey, I see Fred. <laughs> They're in the fairy mystery machine. Yes, they are. That is a great idea. Well done, guys. Well done. Ruh -ruh. <laughs> uh, doing it for a Scooby snack. Okay, you're gonna work on that impression before next year. Like zoinks, Fred, should we be here? <laughs> we want to say welcome to Temple Bride. The Temple Bride nonprofit organization brings our community together. Dancing disco elves. All right, elves, we need to see you. Best moves. 
They say we love for anyone and everyone to join them in their mission. There they go. <laughs> Some elf magic. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Encore Fence and Staining is here. Great to see all of you. And look at this. Their float is a lit up fence. Merry Christmas to you there, young fella. And their entry title name is The Night Before Fencemas. Oh, love it. You too could it's wake up with a fence like this. Provided by Santa and your friends at Encore Fence. All right, walking down the street, heading up the Travis Middle School Band are the Travis Science Academy cheerleading team. And boy, do they have spirit. We can hear it here at this, the podium. They're dressed very festively with the Santa hats, and let's take a listen. Mustangs looking great. Great job, you drummers and tubists, carrying that all the way through the parade room. Good job, guys. The band is made up of seventh and eighth graders at Travis. Great leadership for the band there, and they're just wishing everyone a very Merry Christmas. fundraiser for the American Cancer Society. The funds raised provide research, advocacy, services, and education for cancer patients. And on the float tonight are cancer survivors, caregivers, and volunteers. So make sure you give them a big wave. They'd like you to join the May 13th, 2023, beginning at noon to help eliminate the threat of cancer. Up next, it's the Who's from Whoville for the LULAC Council, 22196 from Rogers, Texas. And don't they look great? The Grinch is on board, along with Cindy Lou Who, and the hair is done to perfection. Wow! They really look the part, don't they, Lindsay? Very impressive over there. The chimney's even smoking. <laughs> well, they've got a wood fire, a real fire. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well, we want to extend a very Merry Christmas to our friends across the street, KWTX News 10. Hey there. We get meteorologists is in the car right there. <laughs> good to see you guys. That's yep. friendly Thank competition. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Absolutely. All are welcome in this parade. We're so glad to have you. Here's their chief engineer and towing their mobile unit. Great to see KWTX here tonight. Next up, it's the Smile Doctors Orthodontics, and these characters look great walking down the street. They love on people first and then straighten teeth second. Visit SmileDoctors.com to sign up for a free consultation today. Your smile will thank you. Voted best in Central Texas in 2021. So they are the best. Glad to see y'all out here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of inflatables, looking good. Well, if you're losing steam tonight, you shouldn't because 
the folks that can help you out are right behind them. At Miss Energy, we sure do appreciate them, especially on those really cold nights, Chris. Yes, absolutely. And they're not alone tonight. Their elves are helping them. This is an entry title known as Atmos Elves Christmas. So the elves and the workers are here to help out. Thank you for being here tonight, Atmos. I love their mission to fuel safe and thriving communities. Thanks for being here, guys. Merry Christmas. Now, I don't know if they brought any cookies tonight, but you know cookie season is right around the corner, Chris. I keep it on my calendar. I hope it's always cookie season. <laughs> Well, the Girl Scouts of Central Texas Troop 21209 would probably love for cookie season to last all year, too, don't you think? Absolutely. It's made up of daisies and brownies and juniors, and they focus on community and science-based projects along with girl lead activities. Thank you, Girl Scouts, for being here tonight. And keep the cookies coming. Are these our friends at H-E-B? I don't think you can mistake it, Chris. <laughs> Did somebody say steak? It is so good to see H-E-B in the house tonight. They'd like to invite everyone to the annual Feast of Sharing Holiday Dinner. You know, this is a huge community event that they put on every year. Right. It's going to be at the Mayborn this Thursday, December 8th, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. They'd love to see you there. You just show up and you can have a nice, hot holiday meal thanks to H-E-B. Absolutely. Thank you for your generosity, H-E-B, and for feeding Central Texas. All right, Chief Roofing is next. And the, they are celebrating the beautiful season of Christmas with music and the joys of family this holiday season. Good to see you, Chief Roofing. This is now a fall raid, Chris. There it is. Oh <laughs> I see a well-behaved dog, but just like me, he seems to be motivated by food. Wow. Whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> Off the charts there. Is that a dog or a backpack? <laughs> a circus animal. You know, Chief Meteorologist Andy Anderson will do anything for a cracker, too. <laughs> All right, Chris, don't, don't make me laugh so much. I've got to introduce our next float, which is the CTX Wrecking Crew. Somehow I felt like they would give me that. Yeah, they're actually. excited to be introduced, yes. They're devoted to the development of athletes ranging from 6 to 14 years old. Their core values are based around families and friends and the love of the game. Hello, Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew. <laughs> oh, it's catching on now. Thank you. There we go. Wrecking Crew. Crew. Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew. Hats are falling off over there. They, you got them going. You worked it's them into a ladder. Yes. It's wild out here. Well, this is the Temple Children's Museum. It's always a groovy time at the Temple Children's Museum for children of all ages. Please view our groovy website. That's peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. Peace. And you love monkeying around. Oh, I love it. All right. <laughs> Well, you know, some folks don't need a reason to dress up. They just enjoy doing it anyways. And that would include the Bell County Comic Con. They love a good time. You know, it's been a big hit since they started doing that about a decade ago here. Well, you uh, never know who you're going to see. That's right. I know a lot of Comic Cons around the country gain popularity, but a lot of big-name celebrities have come, as well as people who really look the part and do look just like the characters that they're portraying. Well, it's never too early to plan to go to the Bell County Comic Con. They want, they want you to know attention, true believers. Bell County Comic Con will return to the Bell County Expo Center on August 5th and 6th of 2023. And they want you to come meet your favorite celebrities, artists, writers, and superheroes. For more information, just visit Bell County Comic Con. Dot com. Is that the Green Power Ranger? It is. Green Power Ranger. And they've already got their date, Lindsay, for next year. They'll be inviting you to come see them on August the 5th 
and the sixth of 2023. And a Ninja Turtle. Come and meet your favorite celebrities and a Ninja Turtle, artists, writers, and superheroes. For more information, visit bellcountycomiccon.com. A lot of comics and a lot of cons. I just saw Vanilla Ice the other day in concert. Did you? And he sings that song. Go Ninja, go Ninja, oh, okay. go, go right. Ninja, go Ninja. <laughs> I'll, I won't sing it for you, folks. That was pretty good. Thanks. Well, here they are walking down the street. Let's thank our friends at Temple College for coming out to the parade tonight. The mascot is looking bright and festive. Absolutely. Temple College, great athletic programs, great education. Temple College, a great place to start your college career. Sign up today. They are your community's college. The Temple College Leopards. That's so right. you go from being a wildcat to a leopard. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Can a puma change its spots? Is this a trick question? Aha! <laughs> Pumas don't have spots. Christmas. Good to see you all, Temple College. Thank you for being here. Well, it's the first thing that I do in the morning, and that is what, Chris? Push snooze on the alarm clock. <laughs> no. Oh. Well, technically, yes. But the first thing I do is get a hot cup of coffee, and the folks at Atrium Coffee Company can certainly help with that. Atrium Coffee is a locally owned business. Their goal is to connect with the city and community the best that they can and get you, like, you know, cranked up with the caffeine. They're excited for growth and connection. Are you a Grinch before you have your morning coffee? No, I'm a morning person. I'm, okay. I'm pleasant most of the time. Very good. I'm a Grinch if I can't get to the coffee. <laughs> hey, with an A. Thank you for being here today, tonight, everybody. Looking good. Coming down the street. Well, either one will work. You know, there's not too many states that you can live in. And when December it gets a little <laughs> warm, like tonight, you can take a dip. And that's why we're welcoming Ramirez Swimming Pools, a family-owned business continuously serving Central Texas since 1967. And yes, when it gets really cold, nothing like a jacuzzi to ease those muscles. Right. After a hard day of reading the news, Lindsay. It looks like the whole family is out on the float tonight. You. Smoking. Well, I tell you, this next entrant stays busy in Central Texas because so many people have heard about how great our community is. They're moving here in droves every day. All of Texas Moving is a local family-owned and operated business giving the most professional and courteous moving packing services to all of their commercial and residential customers since 1999. They serve Colleen, Fort Hood, Temple, and Waco. Incredible. Going on their third decade in business. That is success. Well, we've reached our 80th float. And now let the music and fun begin with the Bottom Middle School Band and Cheerleaders. They're under the direction of Karen Batson and Blake Waller. They're playing Christmas on Parade. A fanfare arrangement of Joy to the World. The band is an award-winning group comprised of 7th and 8th grade band students. Let's take a listen. see why they've won numerous awards and honors, including UIL sweepstakes, jazz contest sweepstakes, superior ratings at other contests, and numerous individual awards. 
please enjoy them as they leave Christmas on Parade. Look, it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. No, it's our KCEN 6 News vehicle. I can see Crystal in the front seat. <laughs> Honk if you love Six News! Our car got turned into a reindeer. I love it. <laughs> of course, we are live streaming the parade right now. We are always so thankful to be a big part of the Temple of Christmas Parade. You can join us on all platforms. We thank those folks that are joining us right now. Yes, please join us for Texas today from 4.30 to 7 a.m. and then our 5, 6, and 10 p.m. newscasts nightly, Monday through Friday, as well as on Saturdays, 6 and 10, and Sundays, 5 and 10. We talked about our morning newscast. I know a lot of our Temple Wildcats wake up early to watch the news, and you got to get there. Transportation, even Willie the Wildcat needs his smart tag to ride the bus. This is the Temple ISD transportation flow. Absolutely. We want everyone getting to sc school and home safely every year. Although, it looks like we might have an extra passenger that didn't quite get in all the Ooh. way in the back. <laughs> or that bus has a tail, either way. The bus has a tail. <laughs> <laughs> this is your THS AFJROTC unit welcoming you to the Christmas season with Cadet Commander Johnny Hernandez. Thank you for being here tonight. Y'all look totally sharp. And backing them up tonight, the Dimple High School cheerleaders getting a little help from our friends aboard that fire truck tonight. Dimple High School cheerleaders and Willie the mascot, they bring lots of spirit and excitement. They want to wish everyone a happy holiday. All right. Put your hands together for the Temple Fire Truck with the Temple High School cheerleaders. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all. You guys are way up there on truck six. Imagine your surprise when they raise that ladder. <laughs> There's Willie. We see hey, you, Willie. Willie. <laughs> Willie, we love you. Oh, Willie <laughs> hearts you back. <laughs> oh, I love what I'm seeing here. A throwback to the Charles Dickens days, the THC, THS Choir Booster Club. The high school choir will be singing Christmas carols that they perform at other functions in Galveston and San Antonio. And here are your Temple High School Varsity and JV Kittens, and we'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a very happy holiday. Looking good, Kittens. We are getting very close to the end of the parade, and you know who's going to be back there. Look, Lindsay, the, cat, the hats are lit up on the kittens. <laughs> I like it. I love it. That means the music is headed our way. You Along are... with your favorite appearance in the parade. That's right. You're listening to the sounds from the award-winning Kimball High School Wildcat Band. Excited to be a great part of the annual Temple Christmas Parade. They sound. They sound amazing. And here comes the THS security team, which is needed because you know who's right behind them. A VIP. 
the reason for the season, and then with the guy we're all here to see, old Saint Nick. There he is, the bearded man himself, high atop the fire truck. Looking good up there, Santa, and we've all been good down here, we promise you. Nothing but good in this crowd. There are screams of joy coming from the crowd tonight, Chris. Welcome in Santa Claus. So great to see you. Your fans are thrilled that you're here. I think they're trying to get in their last minute wish list to Santa Claus. He, he can hear you. Well, we've got a little time left before Christmas Eve. I can see that. Here come the rest of the fire trucks through, all lit up. This really has been a terrific parade. Lindsay, have you enjoyed yourself? I have had the best time out here. My family's having a good time. I hope yours is too. And we do want you to go home safely tonight. We want to see you back out here next year for the 70th. 7th annual wow. Temple Christmas Parade. We're really on a roll. Things have been going well. We've got the pandemic behind us, and I'm wishing you all a wonderful Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Thanks for being here, everybody. Merry Christmas.